hi what's up how is it going to this video i'm going to show you through on how to create you know uh, a wedding jota in called uh, 2021 without further ado let's step into it so right now let's head over to uh this page and change the uh page to a5 which is the normal size of uh jota then you head over to rectangle uh, 2 let's create an object on top of that good so right now as it is what we are going to be doing now is to map out our design so actually we are going to work with all these pictures let me go on and bring in the uh, test here is the test so right now what we are going to do is to bring in the picture first let's map out uh, the design actually so head over at your uh, ellipse to create a perfect circle just like so so after that what we need to do next is to go ahead and just create uh make a copy of the uh, what they call the ellipse uh object which is a circle just like so then you copy in word when you get to your destination you right click to copy paste good so right now let's combine that Control L after I might have selected the two objects, then let's go ahead and just you know we have to truly make this a little bit simple. So center this object within that, then let's just you know make a copy, right click when you get us to destination then you hit ctrl r for a repeat so after that we need to do is to copy the objects in which you've uh, so well, let's wet it all up well then you hold shift key select the other uh, objects then you look at trim automatically trims then delete this we don't need that so right now we need that to do is to just you know power clip this object into so let's power clip for you to power clip select the object then you go back to object the menu then you locate you know power clip then place inside frame select the frame automatically snap in into the frame good can you see that so our next step right now is to make this uh green so what we're gonna do now it doesn't have to be all around green so it's control k to break that into pieces so we gonna make this a little bit of uh what's it called lemon hold control key on your keyboard then you tap keep clicking on yellow until it changes can you see that so let's repeat it to the <coughs> other objects can you see that so good so group it all up center it within the object so right now what we are going to do to just power clip that into place then let's bring in a picture so let's make use of this power clip this into place or better still this would be nice power clip then let's bring it down a bit good can you see that so our next step right now is to make the background lighter color Let's make it like a lemon. So let's go over and look for an object in which we can use the background. Let's make use of this. Good. So we have to blend this background into place look at your what's it called uh, transparency to blend the bottom 
good convert to bitmap then you go ahead to your what's it called transparency tool let's go ahead and change the blending mode to subtract or better still multiply subtract will be better so let's make it a bit bigger but clip it into place then you make it you know uh, bigger good can you see that so right now what we needed to do next is to go ahead and just you know let's change the font to to T it control uh, okay to break the test into pieces then let's go ahead and just arrange their names So right now what that to do let's bring in their name change it to white make it bigger it's going to get to break that into pieces bolding that all up bold this as well then you go ahead to your shape to reduce the tracking just like so likewise the this so after all of that let's just you know let's supply gradient effect with the help of us what's it called interactive field tool then you double click right here let's make that you know uh, gray so let's make it a bit closer good can you see that right click to set the outline to white then you go ahead and hit F12 a dialog pop up a dialog box pop up then you change the thickness of the outline so let's make it you know to check scale with and uh, better still let's make it one good it's okay good so let's go ahead and just uh, increase the tracking just like so then you right drag that on top of the other one release your mouse then so when it pops up then you choose you know copy all properties automatically changes so right now what we are going to be doing now is to just you know let's make this Edward or better still Edward fonts good let's tweak it a bit good it uses a bit a perfect you know uh, outcome let's make let's just change the word into uh, hand that will make it uh, look a bit you know simpler good so right now let's create a love symbol Convert to cough. So right now, let's go ahead. Use your shape to double click, double click to on appear the out uh, the dot. Then you right click on the line, convert to cough. Then pull this up a bit. Then adjust this a bit to swell. Good. Can you see that? good then you copy to the other side word both together so
so right now when did that to this to just you know let's change that out to uh red then go ahead with your uh, gradient effects let's change that color to a bit you know brown it's okay good so right now what we are going to be doing now is to make a copy of this layer then make a copy then go ahead and combine combine change to white good good shake it a bit then make a copy good so right now in that this to send forward the hand good reduce it a bit there you go so what we're gonna be doing now is to make the name bigger then let's go ahead and just you know apply shadow make that you know 90 it's okay then you go over to your what's it called object look at break the shadow apart then you group it all up again there you go so right now let's change this to uh, try again okay so what we are going to be doing now is to go ahead and just you know uh, let's make that So let's add on hover to change this. So let's ungroup it. So we are going to be making that white. 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 Then. Oh, this is not nice let's just return the color then let's go ahead and just you know make this a bit you know uh, nice So right now let's convert this to curve. So slant it a bit just like so. So what we are going to do now is to cut some part off just like so. Then pull this down a bit, change that out to black then send that within that's good good can you see that let's change this to uh, green so 
so right now what we are going to be doing now is to just you know the the date and the cut see <coughs> Give that green, then blend it all up just like so. Good. But I clip that into place. So right now, all we need us to do now is to just you know arrange the fonts. So right now, enter from here. Then you enter from here. Good. So use your tracking, your shape to reduce, increase the tracking. Then you go ahead and just pull in the fonts. Good. Can you see that? Add spice to it with line. Change the white. Then you type twelve. Make it dotted lines. Then. 1 point make a copy good can you see that so right now what we need that to do is to just let's make this cap to letter Good. Make a copy of that background. Extract. Delete the content of it as to extract delete right click set fit content to go ahead to frame type then you choose your remove that automatically remove so right now what we are going to do now is to just you know uh, Blend this background. But I'll clip that into place. it bigger so right now what we need to do now is to bring all the pictures oh, but that's still let's just put this at the back good so here we come to the end tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far see you in the next video bye for now